huh, uh huh, uh huh. That didn't make sense, but maybe you got me. Bring in the drama today. Hey everyone, today I am doing a little get ready with me. I don't think it's gonna be little. I'm going out to dinner with my friend later tonight and I had some extra time, so I figured I would involve you in the process. I don't really know what I'm going for. It's a casual dinner. But I'm gonna be doing my full face and my hair. We'll just see what happens. This is gonna be kind of like a talk through, chat through video. I always like to do like voiceovers for these kind of videos because I like to listen to music and podcasts while I'm filming it because it takes me forever. But we're doing something different today, just because. I've already moisturized my skin and used eye cream and everything and now it's time for primer. This is my longtime favorite Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I have a little baby size and lately I've been having to shake it up. i a little bit annoying. It separates. Pretty much just put that right up my nose. That's, that's part of it. Next, I go in with my NYX setting spray. This just helps me stay matte longer. Let that dry. You gotta make this face, it's important. Now it's time for foundation. I'm using the Makeup Geek Flat Top Foundation Stippling Brush. Does this, you know? And then I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in Wednesday Fabulous in 8.45. And I'm just kind of like using a stippling motion to get that all everywhere. Is it working? <sighs> My chin has been trouble for me lately and I don't know what is up with that. I guess it's like a hormonal thing. I love being a girl. So I'm just going in with a little more foundation on those areas. My little like random red dot in the middle of my forehead in my brain like part of me is just like let's just accentuate that like let's just go with it not socially acceptable now it is time to work on the eyes first up I'm using a little Mac paint pot in soft ochre and I'm just patting that all over the lid provide a base and to cover up all my crazy little veiny veins that I have bye guys now I'm going in with this single by Makeup Geek. It's called Baby Face and it's kind of like a matte bone color. Does bone make any sense to you? Because that's a color that is in my vocabulary. It's almost like, it's like a white, but it's like a little bit gray too. Sounds horrible, but it's not. Next up, I'm using another Makeup Geek shadow. This one is called Desert Sands and it's kind of like a burnt mustard. Does that make sense to you? That's what I'm going with. And I'm just like going all the way over the crease. This is gonna be my transition color. And so I'm just blending it out big time all over the place, but mainly concentrating it in the crease. Now I have this super metallic-y kind of coppery red color and it's called Roulette. All the eyeshadows are gonna be Makeup Geek because I just got new Makeup Geek shadows and that's just what happens. Okay. I'm using a slightly wet brush and I'm just gonna be tapping this all over the lid. Ow, oh, beautiful. Roll that beautiful bane footage. I don't, I don't know why. Now I'm using Cocoa Bear. It's a super warm colored kind of orangey brown. And I'm going to be going in the outer corner and I'm just blending that into the crease and the outer V. Why not? Now I'm using a super dark matte brown just on the outer corner and in the outer V with this little smoky eye brush. It's like super dense. And it looks like it's taking off my eyeshadow. What is going on here? Now I'm going back in with a little bit more roulette just to kind of brighten that back up. And I definitely want that color to be like the star of the show. The show that is my face. Now refreshing that highlight color a little bit and using a little bit more of that mustardy blending color. Just a little bit around the edges. La la la. Now on the bottom lash line, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild Copper Eyeliner. I'm actually gonna go into, ouch, ow. <laughs> into the waterline, which I don't normally do, and 
all below the lash line as well. That pencil was super sharp. Now I'm using this tiny little pencil brush and a cocoa bear and just going all over the lash line. Smudging it out and even coming up with it like this, kind of connecting the top shadow and the bottom shadow. Super dramatic. And then a little bit of that dark matte brown and even a little bit of roulette. And now for my brows, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Waterproof 5-in-1 Microfiber Cream Gel Stain. Complicated. This is kind of a new thing for me, but I think I'm liking it. It's a totally different name on the bottom, Build a Brow in Universal Taupe. Good to know. This is a pretty intense product, but I enjoy how well it stays on. You have to like work to get it off, which I like. Because when your brows fade through the day, nobody's happy. And then I'm brushing through to kind of disperse any extra product that I don't need and like smooth out the harsh lines. That's a major brow. Sometimes I like to go back in with my highlight shade and kind of help redefine the bottom of the brow after I do it. It helps sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. No, it usually helps. As you can see, I don't do that whole like exact architectural brow. Do you know what I mean? I kind of just made that term up. And now I'm just going to use my Maybelline Line Stiletto in brownish black over my top lash line. I don't know why I look so confused when I was saying brownish black, but I'm just going to do kind of like a thin, simple line right over the lash line with no wing. Easy peasy. And now I'm going to curl my lashes a little bit and then apply just a little bit of waterproof mascara to keep my lashes curled because they all straight, clearly. I'm also adding a little mascara to my bottom lash. This is non-waterproof, but it is the same mascara. By the way, I'm listing all the products in the description. I know I forgot to say that earlier, but of course I'm going to. Because I love you and I almost poked out my own eye. Just for you. My eyes look a little bloodshot, hello. Now I'm using a black eyeliner by The Balm. It's called Mr. Right Now, and it's just a nice black liner, and I'm tight lining, because I forgot to do it earlier. Very nice. And now for my lashes, I'm using some Salon Perfect Demi Wispies, but I am gonna trim them down quite a bit. Finally, these are the finished eyes, and now it's time to do the rest of the face. Finally. For my under eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Brightener, and I ripped off the little spongy part, so it just like drips out the end. It's, it's not a very cute thing, but I think it's more efficient. I'm not sure. I dot it on with my fingers, and I even put a little bit on my nose, and then I use a slanted Kibuki brush just to blend it all in. Whoa, super bright. And now to take care of any little stray spots I have, I have the Hourglass, um, what are you called? Hidden Concealer in Natural, and it's a stick concealer like this. It's my favorite for spot concealing and like any kind of zit or anything like that. It just covers it up. I've got some nose redness, which is kind of just daily for me. Nice sweet little spot right between my eyebrows. Sexy. And I use my mini flat top kabuki brush to just kind of like blend that out. And now for just the tiniest bit more concealer, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I actually just got this one and I haven't tried it out and it looks super light so I'm a little bit nervous. And I'm just gonna use like a little, little bit. It's a pretty sheer concealer and I've had the light color before so I kind of trusted it and I was like, hey, let's try something different. Um, but it's scary to try different things. Now I'm using the IT Cosmetics setting powder. It's called Bye Bye Pores, and it's just one of those like HD super fine powders. And I mainly just focus it like under my eyes and the different places where I used concealer. Today I'm not doing any like major contouring or anything. I'm just gonna warm up my face with a little bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Matte Bronzer in 
bear in mind and I'm just gonna kind of like warm up the face I'm also gonna go over the, like the classic contour areas but I'm not gonna be like carving out the face or anything like that just warming it up because honestly I got that darker foundation and I feel like I'm still white as a ghost it could be the lighting but I don't think it is bit on my jawline and down my neck because my neck needs some help and now for my blush I'm using an old fave this is the Milani Luminoso baked blush and I, I don't think I'm ever gonna fall out of love with this one it is just like a perfect like coral with like a little bit of highlight not even I said little bit like it was just a little bit but it's definitely a highlighting blush and I'm putting a little bit up on my temples and across my nose because why not? And now a little bit of highlighting from the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in, I think this is the light shade number one. This highlight is amazing to me and I just use like a little bit across the top of the cheekbone on both sides. Just one side, no, that would be crazy. Be like, Leanne, no, get off YouTube. You're losing it. I can still totally see the thing and it's bothering me. But we're gonna move on finally done with the makeup it's like my face but like extreme wait a second i'm not crazy i don't have anything on my lips <laughs> i'm losing it okay for my lips i'm gonna use a couple of my new favorites this one isn't that new it's a char charlotte charlotte tilbury lip cheat and the color is called pillow talk And for my lipstick, I'm using the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick, and it's in Matte Classy. Super matte. Ta-da! Lips, I have them. Now we're done with makeup. Finally. It's like, I'm way up in your face right now. I washed and blow dried my hair yesterday, but I kind of just like didn't do anything. I just left it straight. It's just doing nothing. All right, so we need to find a brush. Don't have one, of course. All right, so brushing out my hair and getting it ready to do a little bit of teasing, not too much. I'm kind of really sick of getting ready at this point. Does that ever happen to you? Or just like, you've like had so much fun slash spent so much time. I promise this was fun. <laughs> And you're just like, oh, hair now? Really? Do I really have to do this? Sometimes I just completely opt out. But today, I'm trying. I'm going out to dinner. I want to look cute, please. Just a little teasing in the back, and then a little more on the sides. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And a little in my, like, bang area to kind of keep them in line. All right, and then I'm grabbing my curling iron. This is a Infinity Con Air something something. I don't even know how big it is. Can you tell? It's about that big. Uh, maybe I'll be able to find it out on the internet. I've had this for a while. Okay, so I'm just grabbing like a small section of my hair that's like the sh kind of shorter layer. And I'm just kind of curling it away from my face and leaving like a huge tail. There's a method to the math. I don't leave it in too long and then I do another section back here like some of the shorter hair and I curl it in the opposite direction and now I'm dealing with the underneath hair very technical term and I'm gonna grab this section in the front and I'm going to curl it in the opposite direction of this section this one went away from my face so this section will go towards my face this just gives it more texture whenever you kind of go through it with your fingers. It doesn't all clump into like one spiral going the same direction. All right, so I'm going to the next section and this one's going away from my face because we're doing opposites, opposites, going back and forth. I'm sure I don't even need to explain this at this point. Let's just, let's just get this done. Alright, so now I have like Goldilocks spiral curls. Not my favorite look, and it looks like my battery's running out because this has taken me a year and a half to do. Um, so we're gonna wrap this up. My hair is mostly cooled now, and I'm just gonna kind of like work through it with my fingers like this. This side, to me, looks a lot better than this side. What do you think? So, have you not noticed that I'm just super into easy? 
All right, so that's the finished hair. We got ready. I am like starving right now. Totally ready to go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. It definitely helps me in the long run. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because I put out new videos all the time, like twice a week. And I really hope you guys come back and watch. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And if you want to find me anywhere else on the internet, the links will be somewhere and they'll also be down below. I hope you guys come say hi. And what do you guys want to see next? Let me know down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. It's like my face, but <clears throat> 30 hours later. I'm a buff baby. I can dance like a man. As many of you might know, I do go as long as I can without washing my hair um, just because it's already color treated and I actually don't need to wash it that many times. I go as long as I can anyway, but the longer I go, the drier it can look, especially on the ends. And so this has been a lifesaver. Previously, I was using like a little bit of my regular oil and I